Well, actually, to begin with, my, um, I was, my initial plan was to graduate from high school and become a typist. And that was my career goal. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about that. Was it something that you well, some of that actually is related to uh, family background, culture, and all. My parents were immigrants, and um, the idea of getting a high school education was considered a real accomplishment because in the village where my parents uh, had immigrated from in China, that uh, my father had a ninth grade education, my mother had a sixth grade education, and my father was considered more highly educated. So the idea of finishing high school was considered a you know, real accomplishment. So the idea of going on to college was not viewed as being important either because of the standard, but also because being female. So that uh, the, my parents thought would be that I would finish high school, go out and work, mm -hmm. and typing was a skill that I could acquire and get a job. And it had so, certain, uh, in terms of gender, it was right. appropriate. That's right. Mm -hmm. During that time, being a typist or a secretary was like the ideal. So, uh, so I had planned to go on to college, uh, not planned to go on to college, but fortunately had some uh, uh, high school teachers who had essentially said to us, you will go to college. <laughs> so uh, so I, we applied to colleges, I got in, and uh, then went to college with the idea that, uh, that's why I majored in math, because right. I figured I could finish a uh, bachelor's, where if I did psychology, I knew I had to go on. Let me just stop for a second. Let me just follow up on that. Um, Thread because you said it was um, teachers in high school that kind of said to you, right. you're going to college. Right. Um, how did you take that information? Well, I took it uh, essentially as, uh, you know, teachers, certainly within the Chinese culture, are considered uh, those whom you respect. Mm -hmm. So that um, I, and basically I accepted, okay, if this is what you tell me, this is what I'll do. And because uh, it was part of an honors program and so on. So I accepted that. Um, I don't know that I would have thought about going to college because my parents didn't have it in their worldview, basically. You know, because uh, having my father having finished a ninth grade education, you know, felt you know high school would have been uh, an accomplishment already. So how did they when you when you did go to college? How did they respond? Or what was what were their? They were pleased because certainly there's a value placed on education, but there was also the dilemma of feeling that women did not need. An education because they were only going to get married, you know, and uh, raise a family, and therefore, the um, an education for women was not considered essential, whereas for males it would be considered important. But they weren't opposed to it, so um, so they supported my going to college, but uh, with um, they weren't able to support financing it. Right. How did that education <coughs> play out for him, and how did, how, in terms of your relationship to him, how did that? Well, he he went on to college. Actually, all my all my siblings, uh, my brother and my sister, went on to college, so that my parents were basically supportive of it. It was much more graduate school because we finished uh, college, and then my father again expected me to go to work as he did when I graduated from high school. And then when I graduated from college and I said, I'm going to graduate school, he said, what? <laughs> Not more school? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and at that point, and then I had to explain what psychology was, you know, because they said, well, why are you going to school? And I said, well, majoring in psychology. My parents both speak Chinese, you know, so I had to explain this in Chinese to them. So um, I'm proficient in Chinese, but the vocabulary are not ones you use in your everyday language, like psychology. So when I try to explain psychology, I remember my mother saying at one point, after my going through an elaborate explanation, said, oh, you're going to be a brain surgeon. Because <laughs> I was talking about the studying of the mind. And the only way she can understand the studying of the mind is you go into the mind and you do the physical, yeah.